will follow because last time uh, we did this ride, um, I think Paul and Mark and I rode off into the sunset and everybody else got lost in the garden. So I'm going to be very careful today. That's because some of us were pushing. <laughs> That's right. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go, we'll do a loop around Eastern Guard, right around. When we come back here, uh, we're going to do it. we'll ride on to Rippleside and back again so that uh, we can uh, show the rest of Geelong uh, what some old bikes uh, look like. And how does that sound good? Right. There's, not a, there's not a lot of... Stella. Stella. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in. Uh, my name is Brendan. And you're a Geelong, and you're a Geelong man, you and aren't you? No, I'm from Bayswater in Melbourne. Oh, okay, okay. Don't ride these in the dandy on the smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary? I want the Rosemary with the little bottle. Okay, it's all part of the deal. Shane? I'm um, Moulton FX8, designed by uh, Alex Moulton, and... Um, beautiful. Stuart, you're listening. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Trish? Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Sandra? <laughs> Take on? Yep. Uh, my name's Scott. I'm on a borrowed bike, uh, Valencia. What? I've got an mid 1890s Schaefer. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Paul? Um, I'm Paul. This is a 1970 Bates long bike here called uh, Robert Thompson who built them on the uh, up in Ballarat. And he built some of the wooden bikes at the Canberra Bicycle Museum to make productions. Stantel. Hi, I'm Stantel and I'm riding uh, early 1900s Lady's VSA. Beautiful, beautiful bike. Good. So it was lovingly restored by Robin and Kent Thompson in 1973. Beautiful. Hi, I'm Wendy and I'm riding an 1897 Springbrook. Beautiful. Yes. Wow. Thank you. And John? Uh, this is 1970s uh, single beam technology design, soft ride. This one is actually the last of the lot. I think this was made about 92, 93 before the company went bankrupt. So it's a time trial bike and the UCI, the world uh, uh, racing body, actually banned this bike. They thought it was too fast, but it's claimed it's meant to be the world's most comfortable bike because it actually sits on a beam, but it was used quite uh, widely by the triathletes in the 70s and 80s. There's lots of photos, but it might come back.